What's up? Uh, this is Dylan Brooks. I'm from the Memphis Grizzlies, and I'm on the three-point conversion. Two questions. Uh, congratulations to Coach Pierce. Uh, we have a new family member. We don't know what, but uh, or if it's a, a male or female, but uh, congratulations to Coach Pierce. Uh, having a healthy baby. That's a great way to start. So we will go ahead and get into Q&A. First question from Sarah Spencer. Hey, Nate, I know you've mentioned you want the guys to play a full 48. Um, what did you think of the team's play down the stretch and also Trey Young's performance in the fourth? I thought they did a good job. I thought they uh, were connected out there on both ends of the floor. Uh, you know, defensively, we had uh, some guys to step up. I thought Solo uh, Solomon did a, a really nice job in the second half on Tatum, just making him work uh, uh, to score. I thought just, you know, uh, both both units, uh, the second half, uh, I did a solid job of executing offensively. Uh, we had a, you know, a few, uh, too many turnovers, 15 turnovers, but uh, for the most part, uh, they played a 48 minutes uh, game and was able to, uh, you know, break this losing streak. Kelly Kroll. Coach, I'm not um, quite sure, but I think Trey had 16 of his 40 in that final quarter. What did you like about really just um, it, his aggressiveness in, the, in those final few minutes and the way he managed the game down the stretch? You know, that's what we've been talking about, uh, you know, with uh, Trey, uh, he has to show that growth uh, of managing a game, you know, uh, whether we're up or down uh, in the fourth quarter. Uh, you know, we talked about his turnovers. I did, I thought he did a good job uh, tonight of when we didn't have anything early, getting us organized and executing down the stretch, uh, you know, taking what the defense gave him. I didn't realize he had 40 points, uh, but uh, he just did a good job of managing uh, the offense, uh, as well as uh, the defense. I, th I thought he established a tempo that we wanted and uh, did a good job of executing down the stretch. And a, a big advantage for you guys tonight in the paint. And uh, I mean, what can you say about the play of Capella and really JC too? Yeah, well, you know, all of our guys, you know, this is what Coach Pierce has been talking about with our guys is not settling, you know, taking those quick uh, contested shots early in the, in the shot clock. Uh, get movement, get the ball from side to side, uh, get into penetration and kick, you know, make the, t uh, make, uh, the teams uh, defend. And we got that tonight. We had a lot of penetration, as you mentioned, 60 points in the paint. Uh, that shows aggressiveness, uh, which is what we want. We feel that will create opportunities uh, on the perimeter and uh, rhythm shots. So uh, just a really nice job uh, by the guys tonight. Chris Kirshner. Uh, yesterday, you mentioned the fact that sometimes this team gets emotionally drunk in the fourth quarter. Was that final minute an example of them getting emotionally drunk with the Celtics cutting it to four? No, no, they, 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 weren't, they weren't drunk tonight emotionally. Uh, I thought, you know, tonight we, we you know, JC, uh, foul three-point shooter, you know, basically just keep your hands up. I th thought he had his hands uh, out and uh, got caught. Uh, uh, but I thought they did a good job of managing uh, the last five minutes of that game, uh, controlling it. We made big shots. You need to do that. We had big stops. Uh, we needed to do that. We had a couple fouls uh, that the officials were, you know, uh, at times uh, calling the look. We felt calling the look closer uh, on us than uh, Boston. But uh, no, they weren't uh, emotionally drunk uh, tonight. I thought they did a good job of finishing this game. Zach Klein. I know, Coach, you're going to tell me it was about the team, and it's all about the team, but how was it for you out there uh, to get that taste of, you know, walking the sidelines yet again and making the plays and the calls? Well, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm nervous before every game. Uh, you know, I've, I've been that way all my career, so uh, nothing was uh, different uh, tonight. You know, the assistants, our, every, the coaching staff did a great job. You know, I thought yesterday, uh, we had a really good practice uh, prepping these guys for uh, tonight's game, you know, talking about the urgency we needed to bring uh, to the game. You know, uh, you know, Coach Gent uh, basically handles uh, the out offense. 
uh, for us. And Coach Mel uh, does the defense for us. And basically, you know, I was trying to assist those guys uh, tonight as well. But it's good to get a win, you know, for the team. You know, this is about us. This is about uh, the Hawks. And, uh, you know, as Coach uh, talks about all the time, we. And, uh, you know, it's just next man up mentality for us. Uh, you know, Coach is, is uh, home. And, uh, you know, we're happy that uh, uh, he w was able to bring that family member in uh, safe, uh, safely. And uh, it's next man up for us. Uh, so, you know, we'll clean up some things tomorrow and get ready for Friday. Ray Glear. Nate, uh, uh, Tatum gets uh, early three in the fourth, and then your defense was solo. You run them off the three, then you double team them. Can you talk about that design of that defense? You came up with that yesterday in the workout? No, no. This is what Coach uh, Pierce has been talking about with our group is, uh, you know, we call it three-minute defense, and uh, really – uh, it was 12 minutes, the fourth quarter. You know, we, you know, I think the first thing I said, we've been here before. You know, let's finish this game. We talked about being calm. We talked about being clear about what we needed to do. Uh, we had control of the game. We needed to finish the game. And uh, Solo uh, just really did a nice job on Tatum, keeping him in front, making him work uh, to, uh, to score. He scored a couple buckets, but we felt like they were taking tough shots, and we just needed to – uh, be disciplined, not foul them and bail them out. And uh, we, we stayed with that matchup uh, most of the fourth uh, quarter. And, you know, and, and JC, uh, John uh, was on the bench at that time. Clint was in the game. And uh, John was uh, very supportive uh, of Solo, uh, you know, playing those minutes in the fourth quarter, which is, which is key. You know, we got to be connected. We got to support each other. Uh, I thought this, guy, the, this group did tonight. And uh, it worked out for us. Thank you. Chris Kirshner. What did you think of the way Trey defended tonight? I, I couldn't hear you. Could you say it again? What did you think of the way Trey defended tonight? I thought, the, I, I really felt the last few games, he's, he's, he's done a, a good job of defending. Uh, you know, Coach, uh, you know, his, his thought was, we're going to put him on his matchup. You know, we're not going to put him off the ball. Uh, you know, there'll be some times where we may make that adjustment. Uh, but, you know, really three, four games ago, uh, you know, Trey has uh, start, had to guard his matchup. Uh, it started with Brockman. I thought he did a really nice job uh, there defensively uh, guarding Malcolm when we played the Pacers. Uh, you know, New York, he did a pretty good job uh, in that game. And, and tonight, you know, uh, if Kimber was going to play, uh, that was going to be his matchup. So, you know, it's, he's been challenged by, uh, you know, coach to get out there and defend, uh, work at it, play both ends of the floor. Uh, and he did a solid job again tonight, uh, just, you know, being in the right position and, uh, you know, making guys uh, score over the top. Kelly. Coach, one more thing. Um, I I know there's ups and downs in a season, but it really felt like over this last stretch, guys even said, you know, anxious to get a win. Is this one of those wins tonight that you feel like a team can build on and, and what's most important to carry over from this? Well, you have to build off a win or losses. And, uh, you know, it's always good to build off of a win. Um, you know, we, we feel that, uh, you know, we've had bad luck with, with the injuries. And uh, we've been in some close ball games here the last uh, a few weeks, and we just haven't been able to finish. Uh, we can't make excuses about uh, the injuries and the guys that we don't have. Uh, we have to play with the guys that we do, and uh, we have to make our breaks. And I thought tonight we did that. You know, you have to get stops. You have to make baskets uh, in the fourth quarter. And uh, I thought we did that tonight, and that was the difference in the ball game. Thank you, coach. There are no additional hands raised. All right. Thank you, guys.